well, well, well. I didn't think it'd have to come to this, but here we are, doing the same spin around chair intro as all my other detective games where I'm looking for the murderer and I think it's you. So tell me, was it you? I know how you felt about Mr. Bread, okay? The way you stared at him in the, in the bakery. You monster. You make me sick. So, you better have a really good alibi. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good alibi. You're free to go. Again, I guess we'll have to play the game and find out who the real killer is. Like, I don't want to do that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new adventure in Food Crimes Bread Edition, where we are a third-person detective. Or maybe, I guess, just a detective, but we can see in third person, because that's how good of a detective we are. We can see out behind our head, because our insight is too big for our mere mind to hold, because our detective skills are just so good, and we can see everything, know everything, which is why I accused you guys of being the killer, but it was wrong, okay? I just wanted, I just, I just wanted to talk to you, okay? Do I, I need an excuse to talk to you guys? I have to bring you into my detective office every time I want to have a chat, okay? Just... Email me, all right? But this game is exactly what you would expect. Solving a crime about bread, I, which I think got murdered. I don't really know. There wasn't much of a story to this game, but I think someone's been murdered because there's blood on the wall. I think, I think that's blood, and we have to solve a bunch of puzzles. Now, they said that instead of just solving puzzles, the puzzles were built into the level, which seems pretty interesting. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, is this... Is this us? We are the bread. Okay, the bread wasn't murdered. Why? Are we the detective? We look just a little bit evil to be the detective, but, you know, I'm not judging. Okay. Oh, who's this? Is this our desk? Is this our detective desk? Oh, what is it? Hey, Bob, I know you're in a hurry to solve your next case, but I need you to help me. I've lost my favorite purple mug. Can you help me find it? Of course you will, because I have the key to your office room, and I, if not, I will not give it to you if you don't find my mug. Okay, well, well, we're only 30 seconds into this game, and I'm already being blackmailed and helping someone find a mug. Okay, who would steal a mug? Hmm, a lot of people who work in this office, apparently. There's probably a lot of people who would want a mug. You know, office people like mugs. So, everyone in here is a suspect. It's gotta be in here, right, though? Like, somewhere in the room? Because I can't leave because she locked me in here. So it's gotta be here. Is it in the bookcase? Is it lost? Maybe she just misplaced it? Is it in the trash can? No? Okay. Let me, let me waddle over to the other side of the room. Maybe it's in one of the trash cans? No? I see a lot of mugs. Gotta just paint one of them purple and just pass it. Oh! Yeah, I knew it was gonna be my trash can. God, it's that... It's the insight I was talking about. That's why I can see in three, third person. It's just my detective instinct. All right, go to my office. Got it. Okay, this is my office. Ooh, I got my own office. Look at this, I'm fancy. You're just giving her one of my mugs, but she locked me out of here, so. All right, how do I uh, start my mission? Probably at the board with all the clues on it. Oh, okay. Mansion of Lady Baguette. 2.17 a.m. Wow, it took me a very long time to get here. Okay, what is this? Bob, your mission is to collect information and talk with the suspects to know more about them. Once you think you have finished, go to the rep room and behind me. That door is to solve the case. Is there no turning back? Okay, so I only got one shot at this, so I gotta be very thorough. Unlike my last detective game I played where I just shot everyone until I found the killer. I actually have to put a little thought into this. Got it. To enter, you must take the key as your side. Good luck. By the way, here's the tab for Lady Baguette. Lady Baguette, millionaire. Okay, so people are probably after her money. She has five ex-husbands, the richest bread of food land. She's never knew her parents. She died with the clothes in the photo. Okay. Does that have any significance? It's a scarf. All right. Accuse of nothing. She's dead. Well, okay. Alibi. She's the victim. All right. Seems like a good alibi, but we'll see if it holds up. All right. Let's get on to this. Okay. Oh, I'm not. Am I not actually interviewing the suspects? I'm just going around and reading their tabs. All right. Who is this? Bonnie Lust, model. He's a very large group of fans. Lady Baguette's best friend. All right. See, 
a lesser detective would think, oh, they're friends? You know, you don't want to, you're gonna rule this person out? But to me, friendly people are dangerous. That's why I'm a dick, okay? I'm automatically prime suspect number one because I'm a jerk. So by, by ruling a detective, the first suspect is always wrong. Like how I accused you guys of being the killer in the start of the video, I was wrong. See? You, you following, you following my, my train of thought? I, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on this detective job. Considered to be the most beautiful baguette by Bradley Magazine. Okay, accuse him. Killing Lady Baguette with a knife. All right, so she was in the living room having a coffee when everything happened. Okay. Bonnie Luss, I see you. Is there any, like, clue? Oh, clues around the room? What is this? On the contrary, the other side of this one is intact. Everything is perfect. Okay. What is... What does that have to do with anything? Was this chest? It's empty. Was there something inside? I don't I don't know. I don't live here. I'm just a detective doing detective things. Oh, I can go in here. Who is this, huh? Hmm. Sally Parker, writer. Famous for her fantasy novels, Johnny is not a normal sandwich. Written in the biography of Lady Baguette. Hmm, obsessed with cleanliness. Okay. Well, there is a lot of blood in the house. So Maybe it wasn't her accused of the many hairs of Sally by the crime scene. Oh, well, hmm. I don't know because if it was her and she was obsessed with cleanliness, she would probably clean up the crime scene the best that she could. Probably wouldn't leave behind hairs. So I don't know about Sally. We'll, we'll have to keep an eye on her, but not my prime suspect as of yet. She says she was looking at the pictures in the hall. Okay, I'll have to go look at the pictures. What is this? Hmm, bingo. There's only two knives, but three holes. So the murderer left here for sure. Okay, so the murderer was in the kitchen? All right, the basement is open. Oh, is it this basement? Oh, this is a messed up basement. What is this? Oh, it's very dark. It seems like the light has a breakdown. Okay. What is this? Who is you? Who is you? Hmm. Ralph Ch Johnson, priest. Okay, practice religion of the god of bread, personal priest of leggy baguette. Wait, do, do rich people have personal priests? Is that a thing? When he was young, he had a family problem. He got religion to escape from the reality. Okay, accused of killing Lady Baguette with a rare poison. Okay, he says he was in the basement praying when everything happened. But the basement had a breakdown. So why would you pray in the room that's this messy i don't know but the basement was open so if the basement was open then he was probably down there so that kind of does make sense and also a priest probably wouldn't want to murder someone that's not very much a priest thing to do so are there pictures in the hall i don't see any pictures what pictures are you talking about can i go upstairs and follow the trail of blood hello no okay all right well all right what is this okay how could Lady Baguette come up here and climb the stairs with those serious wounds? That's a good point. People who are stabbed typically don't have the ability to walk very far or do many things. Hmm, this is so savage. Yeah, it's a very messy, savage crime scene. So I don't think Sally did it because she wouldn't leave this much of a mess or wouldn't like this much of a mess to begin with. And I don't think it was the priest because it said he used a poison and there clearly is a knife in the corner with blood on it and there was also a knife missing from the kitchen so i don't think it was the priest <laughs> all right it was probably bonnie lust who was accused of using a knife right this is very strange there are very few objects stained with blood practically the whole room is in order okay so there wasn't much of a struggle it pretty much just happened right here what is this Huh, this is a key evidence. Possibly the murderer stabbed her several times and then the bread threw the weapon quickly. He right, does not seem to be a professional. Okay. Not professional. Not professional. Ooh, what is this? This is where it happened. There's a lot of blood and hair. What? Yeah, alright. Anything else? Oh, there's another chest. Anything in this chest? No? Okay. Who is this? It's my last suspect, I guess. Hello. What is you? Who is you? Tom Banks. Banker. Of course. One of the five richest breads. Lady Baguette was from her bank company. Okay. He has stomach problems. Okay. Why does, why does that matter? He likes to travel. He was, he was in the living room with Lady Baguette. Okay. 
Suddenly she saw Lady Baguette full of blood and went to the staircase. Was she saying that Lady Baguette went to the staircase? But we just said that that's not probable because she was stabbed. So he's saying it happened like all of a sudden and that Lady Baguette ran to the staircase. That doesn't make any sense. If you were in the room with her, you would have seen whoever stabbed her because it's clear, clear that someone stabbed her. But it doesn't say that he used a knife. The only person that is accused of using a knife is Bonnie Lust. But that doesn't make sense as there was a person in the room. So wouldn't he have seen her? Is there anything else that I missed? I don't know. Okay, so I think I got all the clues. So it's left to make a decision. Oh, so it's either Tom Banks or Bonnie Lust. Bonnie was the only one accused of using a knife. I don't think he was poisoned. And the priest was also in the basement because the basement was open. Sally probably would have tried to clean up the crime scene a bit, so I don't think it was her. So I, I definitely think it was either Tom Banks or Bonnie Lust. And Bonnie was the only one accused of using a knife, but it's honestly a 50-50 because Tom Banks was in the room when it happened and lied about his alibi because she couldn't have gone up the stairs. Honestly... I don't think you should leave the decision of a murder case up to a 50-50 guess, but I mean, whoever put me in charge of this case already messed up enough, so 50-50 is about as good as you're gonna get. I'm gonna say it was Bonnie Lust. Epic fail, okay. Well, okay, got it, understood. So is it Tom Banks then? <laughs> Am I, I'm gonna lose my job? Well, the game crashed, so I think that's a yes. Okay, for some reason, they let me be the detective again. I'm gonna go with Tom Banks. Are we right? Epic fail. Okay, wow, I'm not very good at this. Hmm. <sighs> Seems like somewhere along my line of detective logic, I, I went wrong. So who could it have been? At this point, I'm running out of options, so I'm just gonna take a wild guess. See if I was right. <gasps> Perfect! I did it! It was the priest for some reason! I don't understand. It said he used poison, but it was a knife in the corner? What? In this version, there are all still no explanations or why, but if you have uh, come this far, it's because you are a good detective. I doubt that. <laughs> Wait for the file version, that'll be in less than two weeks. Oh, cool. Thank you, and I hope you like the ambiance and the art. Proposal on stage. We will see each other very soon. Oh, that was lovely. I liked that. I really wish I could have known why because it doesn't really add up. I mean, kind of makes sense that the priest's alibi was a little wonky because the basement had a breakdown in the lights. So why would you pray down there? But it was also open. So he did go in there. I don't understand. And it said he used poison, but it was clear that the knife was the murder weapon. So did he poison her and stab her? And how did Tom Banks not notice that? I don't understand. Why was there a knife there anyway? I don't get it. How did Brett even hold a knife? Either way, let me know what you guys think of this game. What do you think about the suspects? Would you have gotten it? Did you pick correctly? Be honest. Tell me in the comments. Were you a good detective or did you fail three times like I did? I mean, I thought my logic was flawless. I don't know where this game got its murderer. I'm really interested to see what their logic was, but either way, thank you all so much for joining today's adventure in Food Crimes Bread Edition. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed the rest of the area as well. Hope to see you in your next adventure. Bye bye.